Hello, Juku. Welcome back. Hey. It's Druella. And Shelby. And we are here for our second ever movie review and talk about things. <laughs> the movie review thing. The movie review thing. That was good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the movie What Lies Below. So this movie is actually one that we found on TikTok. It's trending on TikTok, and you can actually find it on Netflix. I've actually, don't want to draw a lie to you, I never heard of this movie prior to her seeing it on TikTok. <laughs> I saw this movie on TikTok, and then I saw it on Netflix, and I was ready to watch my third movie in a row for the day. So I clicked it, and we watched it, and now we're here to talk to you about it. This movie is weird. It's weird, and it left a lot. <laughs> Of questions. So kind of a summary is the movie is about a girl named Liberty who goes by Liv. Liberty is a high school student who's about to graduate so she's looking at college options. However, while that's reiterated over and over in the movie, the movie is mostly about she goes to visit her mother. They are going to be spending time together at their family lake house mm -hmm. and mother's got a surprise which is her boyfriend. Her like mega hot perfect boyfriend that everybody has a crush on. Especially Druella when she first saw him. Dude, he popped out the water and I was like, it was like a knockoff Skeet Ulrich, guys. I like he had a second like, chance. He looked all of like a, a mixture of Skeet Ulrich and the guy who plays Al Seed in True Blood. Yes, he was beautiful. You can't say he wasn't a pretty man. No, he was. He was a very pretty man, and they emphasized on that. They wanted him to be just this hot, like man. Because what lies beneath isn't so beautiful. Yeah. Anyways, homeboy comes out, his name is John, and he's off the bat trying to make sure that Liberty likes her. Now, her mom, Michelle, doesn't seem to be a prominent character in the movie. She is there from the very beginning and to the end, but she's in and out of the movie. She seems to be sick most of the movie, which is later explained Why? to be a pregnancy, but you don't know that at first. So she's just like not really in the movie. So it really she's kind of bitchy the whole movie too. I like her. You think? Yeah, but I think she was very just like, she wanted so hard to be bonding with her daughter at the beginning and then she got really moody, really sick. Like she's throwing up, please just go get me medicine. You know, like she's just, I think she's just going through it. Okay. Think about it, her character's going through it. Once we know, she's going through it. Going through it and the bitchy whole can be. fucking movie. The movie then has to center more so around Liberty and John. So Liberty and John do start to talk. They have several different interactions, which seem to be normal. And then they kind of start to get No, well, weirder. I think the whole movie, there's a built weird sexual tension between the mom's boyfriend and this underage girl. Anyway. I think they want it to seem like that. I think Liberty is the one making it like at first. And John is just kind of like trying to be nice. Mm, but with his intentions underlying, I don't think so. I think because of what happens at the end, he was towards that tour the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, so they really start to kind of bond on the fact that they're both scientists. So John is an aquatic geneticist and he's studying these parasites that can attach to their host and they can live whether or not their host is in salt water, fresh water, Water, going to and fro they've just kind of been able to live through everything forever so he's really into his studies he does it in the basement of this lake house what a nice lake and it's like a uv black lit room for these creatures that he watches in the tanks and stuff and, and the red lights it's very you can't bring light down there they're bonding <laughs> and he takes her down there that's actually one of their bonding oh. moments he takes her into the basement where he shows her that so that's our first look at these creatures which really don't look like much um, they're a sucker it's a parasite with a tail yeah. That's it. A mouth and a tail. It'd be little temples. He's walking on one side of the tanks and she's walking on the other side like very intensely watching from both ends. Which the cinematography in this movie is actually very good for this weird, weird movie. For some reason the cinematography was very cool. Which I think that had to be so that the movie wasn't so weird and terrible. I don't think the movie was horrible. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was a bad movie. I think it had no direction. <laughs> That's what I have a lot of questions. But we'll go through it. But. Okay. Okay. They're on either side 
of the tank and it's filmed through her side, like seeing her eyes look at him on the other side. And he's talking about this and how he's so passionate about it, but she's feeling very passionate about him. And how hot he is. Yeah, and then they meet on the other side. They have to go back up for the yeah, mom or yeah. something. But then we see mom, mom is sick, and John keeps telling her to leave her mother, which her name's Michelle, oh, by the way. Michelle's sick, throwing up. He kind of like, hey, do you want to come out and empty the traps with me? Because again, he's collecting specimens from the lake to study. She goes with him. So they're on a boat and they're chit-chatting about what school she wants to go to. Nothing weird. No, it's not weird. They're just on the boat chit-chatting. He's getting these things out of the cage, saying how proud of her he is and how that's an awesome decision. Then I guess she starts her, but spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Yeah. She like, I don't know. I think she periods. I think she has her period. I don't even know if it's supposed to be like. I don't know if she has her period or if something bitter. No, she had her period. But the, the thing the worm. was going up towards her. Maybe it slithered up there and like bit her. We don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Very she fuzzy understanding of that. Because there's like blood and then he like rushes and puts his shirt in her area. But also puts his finger in her area. I area. Guess, which I didn't catch. I, it honestly, it, watching the whole scene to me, it just looked like he honestly reacted acted and put the shirt there real quick because she started bleeding towards him. I, it looked like he just like real quick. But then he made it ultra weird after that he was like, oh no, it's okay. You know, like we're both scientists. Trying you know? to keep her down. It's a, it's a natural bodily function. This man takes his fingers and licks the blood He's off of Billy his Loomis. So, oh wait, it's not corn syrup this time. <laughs> It's a little bit her blood. blood. And he was like, we're both scientists. It's not weird. And then he makes it weird. And that's when she starts to get weird and feel weird about him. She tried to kind of talk to her mom about it, but her mom is not doing well. Her mom has also lied about her age, which they mentioned several times in the movie. Her mother is 42 years old and has told John that she is 35. 35. And on the boat, John mentions that he is 30. So we honestly don't know how true that is. So that's just what they've told us at this time. So she tries to call her friend, Marley, and her phone just won't go through. She very quickly notices she doesn't have cell phone service. So she gets on her computer and starts instant messaging her. I can't, well, she might've been like I messaging her through her laptop Yeah. and was telling Marley she needed to come over because her mom was dating this weird ass man. And another weird thing before I get any further, uh, like I mentioned about Liberty or Libs or whatever, thinking about how hot he is, she she listens several times to her mother have sex with this man. And I just think- Very intent, like very intensely. Like, yeah, like she is by the door, trying to look under the door, her ears on the door. She is listening to them. And I think it is so weird. That's my mom. I'd be grossed out, maybe a little aggravated. Yeah. Get it together. We're at the lake house, mom. Yeah, mom, I'm literally right But down then down again, mom, I'm trying to fuck John too, so. Right. Right, so I feel like it's very, anyway. So she tells Marley that she wants Marley to come over and Marley can't come over until the next day. So it's what it is. So between then and then, her mother tells her she's not feeling well. Please go to the store and get me these things. I need to drive into town, take my car. And she's kind of like, oh my God, I don't have a license. Mom, I'm 16. I'll wait for Marley. And her mom's like, please, I don't feel good. And can you give me a pregnancy test? So she's like... And then goes into town to get her mother the pregnancy test. I and, didn't know what was happening. That was cool. <laughs> and while she's in town buying the pregnancy test, John is out on one of his several hour runs. I guess she calls it a marathon run, her mother. And she's and, like, he won't be back for hours. So that's the way she has to go. So she goes into town and she sees him with another woman. Well, and he has glasses on now. Yeah, he's got glasses on. He makes eye contact with her. He touches the other woman's lower back. It's kind of weird. But there he is looking good as hell in glasses with a woman that's not my mama. And I'm here buying her a pregnancy test. She tries to tell her mom that too, but that's when her mom is just too sick and John won't let her in there. So then Marley comes the next day. He's also very weird about when the mom gets sick because of the pregnancy and the way he like looks at Liberty when he's like rubbing the mom's back or like taking care of her. It's all just very weird. Yeah. The next day and her friend comes over and her friend's kind of like, oh my God, he's so hot. And she's like, I don't even want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. He's a freak. Weird. Oh, you want to know what he did, girl? He uh, touched me on the boat very weirdly and inappropriately and then licked my blood off his fingers. What and the shit? What the fuck, yo? And Marley was like, hey, that's not cool. I'm going to go tell your mom she's right now. She's a good friend. Yeah. She immediately was like, no, fuck that shit and went to tell her mom. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to tell your mom right now. 
So she goes up there and starts talking to her mom and then it blocks out. It's the next scene. It's the next day, maybe the same night. Actually, it looks like it's night out. Now Liberty's waking up and she goes downstairs and John and her mother tell her that Artley's been gone quite some time. She left earlier. She left earlier. Everything's fine. How are you feeling? And then she's like, I'm fine. And then they break it to her that the mother's pregnant. We've also, by this point, at one point at nighttime, Liberty has looked out the window and thought that she has seen John walking into the lake towards the red light that looked like the whole light. lake was lit up in a red light and he like walked straight into the lake and it looks a lot like what his basement looks like that was my immediate yes. thought that the red lights looked like his basement so yes. i was like this is about I to not be a creepy sexual predator movie this boy's an alien he's an alien from another planet from underwater he's yes. an underwater alien underwater alien weirdo Wait, okay, so psh, comes downstairs. They break it to her that she's pregnant. She's kind of trying to ask Liberty if she's okay with this. I mean, you're already pregnant, bitch. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, you have options. We support your options. But point is, so she says she's okay with it. And then John looks at her mom to kiss her. And whenever he does, he looks back at Marley and his eyes do this weird shifty thing. So she like rips her mom away. And she's like, get away from him. He's crazy. He's no, weird. He's and the mom's like, what's wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. And they keep going back and forth. And the mom just like wails on her. Get out of her. And she's like, oh, you know what? She's not even 35. She's 42. She's an old grandma. So I hope you're not planning on having more than one fucking baby, John. Because she's an old ass bitch. And either she's not going to make it or the baby's not going to fucking make it. And he's triggered by this because he's he like, wants them to be young to be able to. We're assuming. They never directly state. But we right. assume the age thing must have mattered so much because he needed a young, healthy host for whatever alien shit's happening. For the alien baby. Yeah. So he freaks out. And his voice is like. <laughs> and then he leaves. He was like, <laughs> and he leaves, and mom's pissed. She's like, yeah, how dare you? But like, he loves me. Get and over me. it. We're a family now. Yeah, stuff like that. Then what happened? Typical mom and step alien stuff. So next, basically, the mom goes and runs after alien boy. Can't find mom. Lib goes and, you know, runs looking for him. Finally goes to the basement to look for it. And I believe the basement door was locked. I don't know. Either way, she ends up in the basement. Mom's yeah. tied up in this tank. Like, hooked up to machines like this inside of a tank that has water up to her, like, That's stomach area. area. I mean, obviously, you can tell it's about to happen at this point in yeah. time. Mom's about to have an alien. She tries to get her mom out, and then she can hear him coming, but she actually just sees these weird, like, alien feet. These Wait, alien... There's no way to describe them. I don't even know what they could... They, like... they Because the, there's water all over the floor, so he's, like, squish, squish, squish. <laughs> Pushing his little alien feet everywhere. Yeah. And then he steps on something that burns him because she built it's like salt. It's like a salt substance yeah. that pours on the Maybe floor. Maybe calcium. So we squat him around on some salt shit. And, it and he goes. Him. And then all of a sudden he's got on boots. And she sees him and he's like, What are you doing? He, he talks like a like an alien. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, guys. Then we have this whole, like, rundown meltdown. We're not gonna give you a step for step. Go watch the fucking movie. He is, like, watching mom, and mom starts to give birth in the tank, and then there's just, like, organs floating around in the tank, or, I don't know, like, probably parts per percent or whatever. He, like, but either way, when the baby comes out, he's like, no, no, it can't, it can't be. be. Yeah, and he, like, carries it outside. And throws up a light in its a mouth. A light beam into its mouth. And then, I'd like to notate, we don't see the baby again. Where is the baby? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Maybe, yeah, maybe. That's how babies swim. You ever seen a baby swim? Comment down below if that's what babies swim like. <laughs> Either way, baby swimming. That's not confirmed. Um, baby's gone. All right, so then he comes back and she's trying to untie her mom. She's trying to call the police. She finds how he's barriering the signals and breaks it and then calls the police and is like, look, my stepdad's trying to kill me my mom. Whenever she's doing that, she's actually ducking like behind a desk and then we discover Marley's body. So Marley Yeah, because is... she's like in a tank filled with water and there's leeches sucking all over her. So yeah, these creatures are kind of like leech-like. I really don't know how to describe them, actually. Were they leech? No, he called them something else. This is what they look like. But there's a sucker on one end. Yeah. If you could imagine a sucker. <laughs> 
Anyways, she's on the phone with the police and he's finally in there and I'm assuming he's in full alien form. We never get to see the full yeah. alien form, which really, really, really disappoints I don't really know if they lost me. the budget at that point to like show the rest of the CGI that was the alien, but like we saw his feet and like part of his face when he's human and it gets like ripped yeah. or like, and you can see like alien Because she spills skin. the salt on him at one point during their tussle. And yeah, I don't know. But either way, we find out Marley's dead. That's so sad. But she gets her mother out of the tank and they're just booking it. They're fucking running. At one point, John makes a comment about how the water is keeping her mother safe. And whenever her and her mother actually get outside, you notice like her mom all of a sudden has all these cuts and tears all over her yeah. starting to disintegrate. Mm -hmm. Almost. Falling apart. She hits the ground and she's telling her daughter to run. And just something comes up behind the daughter who is standing there and the mother's looking at it. So, and then you flash to she's in this chair in this room. Tied up. Gag. Gagged. And there's like this ladder coming down into the room. A bunch of versions of John and they're ripping wallpaper off the walls. So Good <laughs> note. John's not a cheater. He just has multiple. Alien brothers. Bodies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but not a cheater. Yeah, there are several Johns coming down into there, ripping the wallpaper off like and you said. And it's like a white room. That's It's literally just white. And there were other walls. women in the walls, right? Yeah, when they're ripping it out, you can start seeing other women in the tanks of like water. Glass coffins filled with water. So basically, this is, we're here, we're at the ending. Then it goes black and she's in a tank. And it's starting to fill up with water. And, and you she's can... banging, screaming, trying to get out. And it pans out. And... The water's filling up and she's struggling at first and then she smiles. At the end because she turns into an alien. I, I yeah, guess. I guess. That's, we don't know what happened. But that's the movie. I would just like to say if this movie is supposed to be about stupid water aliens, why do we not see the stupid water aliens besides their feet? <laughs> that's one of the biggest things is I would like to know one what exactly so is much... his mission are they just trying to attach themselves to women and breed more of them what does that have to do with the parasite and being able to live everywhere maybe that's their thing I... it's the connection between them and them and how long they've lived how they attach to a host and they've lived through the several different circumstances because they continue cause to get multiple modern beings. women pregnant you're right. Okay. And how he can That's look it. different. We just fucking solved Blue's Clues, brother. Yeah. Good job, Steve. I don't know. I mean, but it wasn't awful. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Well, ooh, 6 out of 10. Let me tell you something. I did not enjoy this movie whatsoever. Okay, 5 out of 10. 4 for me. It could have been worse. It could have been killer but, pinata, which will go over oh my god i love that movie <laughs> okay anyways thank you guys for watching please leave a comment below about how we did if you've seen this movie if you've liked it what you rated as you guys noticed this shirt do you remember seeing it in my february not your average bait box video which by the way guys if you don't follow us on instagram be sure to follow us on instagram because underscore druella i i post most of my updates there that's i mean i've even currently removed the facebook page because i just can't keep up with it all right now please follow us on instagram at underscore drew Bella so that way you can keep up with everything like i was saying we have canceled the subscription for not your average big box it is currently april i still don't have my april or march box when i get them i will be opening them for you guys but we're gonna start doing the monthly don't eat the gum box we've already talked to kevin he's excited to try to keep up with it for us He's kick ass. Go order a Don't Eat the Gum box. Follow him on Instagram at Don't Eat the Gum. Yes. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Druella. I thought yes. we said that already. We did. We're still pushing it. And we're doing a $200 Don't Eat the Gum box very soon. We're so excited. You got lots of new stuff, so we can't wait to show you guys everything. Thanks for coming to our second movie review. You guys fucking kick ass. We appreciate you guys so much, honestly. There are a lot of you, and I never thought we'd be where we are. Here we are. So thank you. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe.